Hello, this is Jer, trying the early stages of the Frosty Planet Pack, see if I can make some significant improvements with more things that I've learned from you guys. We've got an asteroid here that is a frozen core, large glaciers, so extra chilly. We've got the most difficult settings here, including Ravenous, trying to get the local war achievements. Let's give this a shot and try to improve things from the last play. Here's who's going to be enjoying us for this mission. We've got Squirtle. Effectively a plus 10 science researcher because of their plus 7 and plus 3 do quick learner. They don't do any cooking, but that's okay because we've got Charmander who's plus 9 at cooking. They're germ resistant, not that good with medicine. And finally, Pikachu who is interested in operating, supplying, suit wearing. Their night owl doesn't like to attack. We're going to be getting them to specialize in electrical engineer at some point. The name of the colony is Seafoam Asteroid. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with a little bit of administrative stuff and then an early look around on this asteroid. First of all, disable disinfect. For the uh, schedule setup, several schedules. I am going to be sending Pikachu down into a schedule down here. Don't want them to sleep just yet, but I want to take advantage of their night owl status. Plus, I only have two pokes per schedule. For priorities, I'm going to focus Squirtle on doing the research since they've got the plus 10. And uh, Charmander in the cooking since they've got the uh, 9 on that. Let's have a quick look around. I see some critters up here, some share berry plants. I've got the research portal available here. That doesn't look like it's too far away. A little bit further away is the wood heater and a coat rack down there. Some cinnabar oil or ore. And then we've got uh, oxy lights for early oxygen supply. My goal for cycle one, more than anything else, is to get access to a wood heater. Because this guy is further away, I'm thinking I'm going to concentrate on getting down to the research portal, unlocking the ability to build my own. It would also be nice to have the wood heater closer to the center area. Other than that, I want a barracks. And if I can, a latrine. I think the barracks is going to be a little bit more important. Because uh, one of the commenters from last video, Cedric, mentioned that you get a 10%, a roughly 10% bonus of stamina generation. So we'll see if we can do that. So the pokes are starting off. The other thing is we need some metal. Uh, cinnabar ore if we're going to actually have any ability to build this stove I'm going to be constructing that around here fortunately we don't have any tiles along this point so we're going to make some snow tiles to try to complete this barracks early on just going to make a minimum height of two for the moment you can always expand that later So these guys are getting chilly surroundings. No fun. So their uh, stamina is being drained. Their ability to walk around slowed. That's why we're getting down here to this research portal. Charmander's doing a very important dig. Along with Pikachu. And one of them will be going into the research portal. Looks like maybe... Oh no, I was going to say Pikachu. Squirtle. Nope. Somebody. They can reach it, right? Oh, I've got to click on Rock Research, of course. I think Squirtle's on call for this mission. Nobody is liking it here so far. Oh, Pikachu. Let's get you uh, doing something at least. Actually, I'm going to get a ladder created right here. Okay, so we can build a stove finally. So I want this turned into a barracks. One half, at least three cots. Go out a little bit further. I'm going to put the stove or wood heater right there. 
Make that a priority build. And the reason for putting it right there is I believe if I put the carts in this location, there'd be too much light for that dupe. Or poke. Because if they sleep here, they're actually located here. This cart is right there. So I'm hoping that is going to uh, give these guys the ability to sleep through the night while not actually uh, being kept up with the light. Actually, I wonder if this was even necessary. But I'm going to dig this out. It's another uh, comment uh, from Cedric. It says, dig from the uh, tiles rather than the plant. This is a little bit quicker. So Charmander is able to get through that fairly quickly. Yeah, I'll just complete this instead that way. So with that, I'm going to knock this down. We're going to see if we can get a latrine together. Might have an issue down here. Technically, don't need access to this anymore. How about we just do that? This door doesn't need to be shut. So there's our barracks. I'm going to dig down so we've got a place for our carbon dioxide to flow. We'll get in. I think it's more important. Let's look at our schedule. Uh, Pikachu, we said we're going to send you down here. It would be nice if we had the ability to make the latrine. But let's prioritize on getting the outhouse together. Put in two. Make that a priority. Been eye on this schedule. A few hours. I think we're gonna get it actually. Any excess time, let's set up. The next uh, cycle's task, which is getting together a research center, laboratory, and covering the spot for power. So there was a question from Pyroman on why am I avoiding digging through Oxylite? And I thought that was because it is actually destroying half the oxygen. But uh, Cedric mentions that when it actually creates oxygen by itself, like this, it's actually losing half of itself. So if you dig it out, removing half of it, it lands on the ground as oxylite in a little pebble format. Uh, that actually turns oxygen 100%. Long story short, there is no difference. So you might as well dig it out. So I'm definitely going to be changing my policy on that. So this is probably a spot where I would kind of normally have avoided putting a door there. At this point, I'm going to say, actually, it is completely fine. So we're going to get a spot here for a battery. So we can start to get a research station together. We're going to have to research. Oh, we need a little bit more metal, though, to complete that. Maybe we'll have to dig down this direction. Or dig up. So we've got these guys sleeping. Now, this seems to be close enough. This is this is what I was concerned about. Charmander, are you being kept up at night? It seems like uh, not the case, which is good. Sleeping right there. I've seen some uh, people sleeping in their cots and being woken up in that particular location. So hoping that slight change will give us a bit of an improvement. All right, that's cycle one. The green one is awake on cycle two. I believe Pikachu is taking their break now, so they're, they're taking a nap. Let's create some ladders here going across. Actually, I'm going to open that up. I shouldn't have built that particular tile just to have airflow going up and down easily. Got some uh, full faces. Why? Oh! We have not 
discovered any dirt. Okay, so there's some dirt there. Take to the sides. Hopefully we're going to make it. So we've got our outhouses together. Our outhouse is in a latrine. But there's no dirt to put in the outhouses. Whoops, also see a piece of dirt there. Alright, so with this little bit of dirt, Squirtle's going to put a piece there in uh, that outhouse and use it immediately. Charmander, you're thinking about using the washroom on the ground. Please don't. Please take a moment to uh, throw some dirt in here. Pikachu also has a full bladder. So we've got more dirt going in a second outhouse. Okay. Looks like as long as a Pikachu wakes up and then makes it run, 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 run. We'll have gotten everyone to be able to use the latrine. Extend this a little bit further across. Might as well close this back up again. Okay. Whew. I was worried there. So these guys are going towards some metal ore. I need that to complete our research station. The other advice was be a bit more aggressive getting these share berries early on. So let's see if we can both do that by digging out the uh, from the tiles above. Get over here. Let's see. Maybe get up like that. Getting towards our metal ore. There's metal ore up here as well. Squirtle digging away. Now, if that lands down here technically, unless we continue digging, we're not actually going to have access to that food. So we'll get Squirtle to keep on digging the path around. Now we can put in our research stations. Just going to put this bin here, make that a lower priority thing, but it's more of just a reminder that I want this to be upgraded on the left side to be a supercomputer. Lost our battery. This will be fixed by getting a snow tile in. Plan our manual generator to go in right there. Just gonna make sure they understand I want the uh, research station built. Before we explore. 13,000 calories. Got a look at the uh, next dupe. It is less than a cycle to the next dupe arrives. So we'll make sure we've got a cot available for them. Or sh I should say poke. First research station has been built. So that is going to allow these guys to create some power. It'd be funny if Pikachu decides to get on the manual generator. Oh, they might just actually be. Haha, <laughs> nice. Nope. It's like, it's not. That's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. The first thing I want to research is electrolyzer. For two reasons. One, we want to continue to breathe. Breathing's nice. But that's also going to give us a little bit of hydrogen. I don't want the air to get thin. Right now, we're fine because there's lots of oxy light. But that's not going to last forever. I 
get you getting up here so we can get the shareberry plants. And we've got our laboratory together. Nice. So I'm going to put the ceiling together here. Start getting that built. Start of cycle three. Getting a little bit nervous. I don't want a poke to arrive and not have a cot available for them. So let's up that priority. I also want to make sure we've got food for everyone. So let's get up here. Squirtle, working away at the research station. We want to have access to that electrolyzer. So we've got a ladder being installed. Make this little stairway up here. To figure out how we're going to get over. We should be able to do this and that. I think that should give us everything, as long as this oxylite stays in place. All that should fall to the ground. If we dig this open, we should have access to that. So make sure this is the priority. Pikachu working away up here. Squirrel, back to some of the uh, research project. Might need more dirt. Let's see if we're going to have an issue here if I don't fill this in. Maybe I shouldn't have closed that off just yet. Let's see, I, can t I guess we can take some dirt from here for now. it over here as well. Squirtle's cold. Make sure you go get warmed up there in the wood heater. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Pikachu's doing a great job, but they can't get back. Okay, also depends on this. I don't want them to get trapped. I think we're going to be fine. Oh, it is time for the next poke. Any chance that I've got someone with good ranching skill? Oh, uh, technically, but I don't want anyone that's slow, falls asleep. So I'll do a reload at this point. The next poke to join is Bulbasaur. They're interested in ranching and cooking. I really want to make sure that I've got someone that has ranching so we can work towards the carnivore achievements. But uh, it's also nice to have someone that's interested or has some skills in the kitchen because so I will need more than just Charmander cooking in there so Bulbasaur can help out when needed in the kitchen area. They also have a skill so I could skill scrub them and change that to something else. Probably won't immediately but uh, that is an option and their iron gut so they can pretty much eat whatever they want and they don't like to attack things. So there is Bulbasaur and we've got a cot for you available right there. I think it is time to do the next research project. Let's get our supercomputer together. Just watching Bulbasaur warm up and I just had a change of mind on our research project. Let's get access to light. So we're going to set up a micro musher up here. We're going to get Charmander to start working away in the kitchen. It would be nice to have uh, light access for them. Technically plug both these in. After Squirtle moves, I might disconnect that setup over there. I didn't really need that uh, connected just yet, but that's alright. We will once this will be a supercomputer though. Well, 
let uh, Bulbasaur stay in this little section there on break. Now, I meant to uh, bring them down here, so let's actually have Bulbasaur and Pikachu be on the same break period. You could continue to have your meal, but uh, only two uh, pokes per schedule. Got our ice liquefier going in. That's going to provide some water. We'll need that for the supercomputer. We'll need that for the micro musher. And we're going to need that for the electrolyzer, which I need to build much earlier than uh, my last playthrough. But I'm worried about food. Is there any more share berries, though? Perhaps I should be focusing on that. Instead of generating food just yet. Oh, that... Okay, this might be a case where I have to dig that out because I can't dig the granite at the moment. One, two, three, four. I think I need a ladder here. Or it could even be snow tile. Make that a priority. So, yes, we want the kitchen, but let's rely on uh, share berries for earlier gameplay. That's a light axis. I'll have to design how I want that to be. Can get back to the supercomputer research now. Charmander digging a path towards more food. Pikachu, what are you... Ah! No, 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 no! Let's see if I can get them to get up. If they can dig a tile right there. Otherwise, we'll need this ladder built. No, that did. That's not going to cut it. Um, sorry, Pikachu. Well, unless maybe put a snow tile right there. Yeah, Pikachu can at least build that. Cause they can't access wood to create that ladder. Yeah, not so happy. That's all right. Or at least made it to the outhouse. I'm gonna switch this around since we'll have access to water soon. Make that a priority since we'll have deep be digging that eventually. Bulbasaur up here, still waiting to dig this out. There we oh. I guess we technically didn't even need that, did we? Oh well. 14,000 calories. Okay. It is too early to worry about stables. We've got to focus on the electrolyzer and getting the micro mustard together. Another share berry. Oh, actually several. Take all that out. Research is progressing. Charmander. Appropriately on the ice liquefier. So now we can produce water. Found a critter that's stuck here. Why well, don't doesn't someone give them uh, some help? Pikachu is on it. There we go. Getting access to a little bit more metal. Next research project. Do the uh, rock crusher. We have our design for lighting. We'll make sure that we've got light access on this micro musher. 
plus the ability to add in automation to turn the lights on and off in the future. I'll go ahead and make a snow tile for that later on. So once I get the next dupe, 1.8 cycles, I'm going to need to expand this barracks. I think we're going to go in this direction to do that. Another wood heater right there. Hold on, yeah. Just make sure that's at the right height. I so I shouldn't shy away at making snow tiles right here. Just because that's oxylite. Nine thousand calories. Got more share berry. I think we should oh, we should really get to this coat. Let's make that a focus. Though I don't want to have a no, I think we've got to, we'll get time. Let's get down here. This is the way to go, guys. Seeing that Cedric mentions, be careful. These guys think they like eating food. Let's get that out of the way so they can't do that to us someone pick that up please what about over here was oh there is two yeah I'm just gonna do a little bit of gathering so that completes that research but we get into the world of a little bit of automation with a smart home. Together another cot for the next poke. Not progressing down here, oddly. I guess because they're a big gathering, protecting our food supply, which is important. So any other share, I guess there's one there. There's also one here. But we'll need to get a path down. Maybe a simple snow tile right there will do. Well, no, two maybe. Or if we did this, actually, hold on. I made a snow tile right there. I'm going to get the first mush bar made. So we should have some dirt loaded in here. Along with some water. We need to really get over here though, guys. Okay, so in order to get down, we're going to need a ladder. Let's take that share berry up here. Get you not feeling so great. Another research project done. Squirtle is so quick at that. What to do next? I don't necessarily want to mess all, but I do want to get a ranching uh, situation set up at some point. Get the uh, skills. When am I going to get Bulbasaur? I can give you farming, but I'm going to hold off. It shouldn't be too long till we get some upgrades. Having a closer look at this critter, I don't think it's a share berry I actually even need to worry about. They do like to eat that uh, pike apple. 
So maybe there's no actual need to gather the share berries so quickly. But having it close to where the dupes can grab it for a snack at the end of the day, not a bad thing. All right, let's get down here. I really want to make sure we've got access to this guy here. I think it makes sense to give that to Charmander so that they, can, uh, they won't need as many interruptions while they're using the micro musher. So that's going to be a very important job. Once we're out of Shareberry. Another piece way up there. I'm going to disconnect this for the moment. Charmander, good job. Continue on here. And destroy this. Since we don't actually need a wood heater way down there. There's our warm coat. That's going to go to Charmander. Oh. What about some of these? I never even thought about buried objects. Do you get share berries from there? Maybe you do. I've completely neglected buried objects in this uh, DLC. Let's have a look here. Don't need that anymore. Not worried about digging through Oxylite anymore. Okay, well that's not food, but doesn't mean that there isn't a share burying some of these other buried objects. On Squirtle, let's have a search. We out of dirt? Okay, that is one of the uh, decorative plants, I believe. Charmander, let's have a look at this object. Getting up some dirt. Yeah, I think we need to open up uh, more dirt. Got a whole bunch up here, actually. Along with some buried objects. Skills are ready to be given out. Squirtle, you're our researcher, so we're going to give you advanced research. We'll give you your hat to show off. Taking a moment to find a plan to get through this. Looking at getting some buried objects. We can get a little bit of food from that. But we're going to go to the mush bar and make that forever. So Charmander should be up here. Micro Musher. Once I see them there, hopefully I'm going to remember to connect this. I am going to get a Rock Rusher down here so we can add in some automation. Make sure that has a floor to it. But this is a new setup, so I now have a plan to dump some water. I'm going to do that in an automated way in a little bit. The hydro sensor here, we'll need to do that research. But my plan is to get water at this location and start feeding electrolyzer. We don't have insulated pipes, that's something we could do later. We'll just have a direct path. Goes up like that with piping. This can't actually get complete unless we have ability for uh, folks to get in here. Uh, Pikachu, let's give you tinkering. Give you your little hat to show up, Bulbasaur. I'm not going to be uh, using it, but we'll give you farming. And we'll get started on this work. 4,000 calories. 
Get some cold. Oh, wait, now. Okay, so we better get our second heater going. Make that a priority. So we're going to have a new poke soon. We have a spot for them there. Wouldn't mind having a backup outhouse. Think that would be smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Already have this one up that priority. Maybe make that urgent as well. All right. Ranching, digging, suit wearing. I'll uh, think about these guys. I might consider this one. We'll see here in a sec. Next poke to join the team is Geodude. They're going to specialize in digging. Though later on they might help out with ranching. They are an early bird, so I'll make sure to look for that when I assign them their schedule, which I'm going to do right now. Let's see, they're at, we're at this point in time. We'll put Geodude right there. So they get five hours of taking advantage of their special traits. And I can assign their skill right away. Hard digging. Give them their hat to be able to show off. Charmander! Into grilling. That's going to be very useful for them. Lots to do here, guys. 4,000 calories. Charmander putting on their special hat. Let's see some water made so we can get the micro musher going. Spare outhouse being made. Might put in door here just so we can control who can go in and out of there. Which means we'll have to have a snow tile for now. Okay, so we've got you working away. Let's make sure you can see what you're doing. Geodude is taking out the research station. It's going to allow us to get in a supercomputer. And the pokes pretty much have their orders for the next cycle, maybe even two or three. I get this system built up so we can produce our own oxygen. Right now, it's looking decent around here, but it's not going to stay that way. I very much know that. I want this to last a little bit longer. Maybe we'll go down here, dig out a little bit more oxylite. First advanced research project I want to do is improved plumbing so that I can get both a hydro sensor and insulated liquid pipe. So we'll make advantage of the new uh, supercomputer we have available to us. Squirtle starting with the basic research. some point we are going to get another poke so figure we we'll put in a cot before we forget pikachu on the manual generator not feeling that great generating some calories here see if we can also find some ourselves And we've got some wood heaters here so we can stay warm. I'm a little bit nervous if we can actually get everything complete. So there might be a minimum amount we want to do. To get things running, I think that would involve this. It would definitely involve having power connected. 
We better have a place to drop off some liquid. And get this electrolyzer running. I think the automation is going to follow. We want to make sure we can continue to breathe. That, uh, that's very important. Geodude installing some wiring along with Pikachu. Installing some wood tiling here just for a little bit of insulation around where we're going to store some water. Pump is being installed along with the electrolyzer eventually here. Just need to get some tiling underneath this one. So with that pump, we're going to be able to deliver water into the electrolyzer. The only thing is we need to make sure that water doesn't freeze because, well, it doesn't uh, pump that well when it's ice. I don't want to keep a close eye on my wood level. 11.1 tons at the moment. Now, I might temporarily boost this to a 6 along with this. We need to continually produce food. We can't really take a break from that. Charmander back in the kitchen area. doing some research here. I'm wondering if I actually pause that just for a moment. Again, I'd really want to make sure I can focus on getting this built. So we can at least produce our own oxygen. We can close it up later. Put in automation later as well. Squirtle now helping out with the construction. Bottle emptier is now in place. Don't want to let that go until this whole area is built. Uh, worry if they can actually get in there. Pause on that little section for the moment. See some ice that's going to fall. Ideally, we wouldn't have ice at the moment in this area. Move some supply out of the way. Snow as well. I think the last thing to be done is just dig that and get this stuff out. Tremander doing this dig for us. So we've got some ice that has fallen down here along with some snow. We're going to move all that over here. And I'm going to give the command to start dumping in some water. Once we get this, actually, I'm going to move this out too because uh, every, every, anything that's cold in here we want out, which is pretty much just any material. So Geodude is switching that all over for us. Put this part of the design back. Taking a little bit of muscle to do all this. Maybe I should have actually let this fall in down. Oh well. Here we are. Let's up the priority here. And we should see some uh, someone drop off some liquid. Getting the rock crusher in place. Let's go back to our research project. So coming to the end of cycle 8, hoping to have this uh, electrolyzer run for the first time. I see some water geodudes dropping that in. 
So the pump is picking that up. I'm going to actually mark that as a lower priority for now. And there it is, a little bit of oxygen and hydrogen as well being added to the base. Max pressure at the moment. Maybe we'll just open this up a bit. I'm going to get electrolyzer more of a central area, but for now, let's start there. Going to watch this water. I don't want that to freeze. You can see that dropping pretty quickly. Why don't we uh, help insulate this? We're not going to be able to fully close it off until we get our automation in place. As this is being installed, getting nervous here. I think I might need to add water for no other reason than just making sure it stays warm. Let's check the water in the pipes. That could also be con yeah, that's definitely a concern. The fact that this thing is not running all the time. Another concern. Open this up just a bit more. Getting in some water. That's not going to help with the water that's in the pipes, though. We can dig out some dirt if we need it for our research project. I'm going to go to priorities. Tell Geodude we're going to focus on digging. Okay, we're going to have an issue here. I can tell. Squirtle, we need some insulated pipes. We also need food. Drop that back down. Oh, boy. Okay, could not come soon enough there, Squirtle. Don't have much igneous rock. I'm going to start changing this over. Create a little bit of metal for automation. Well, we had a dupe. Or a poke that has died. Who was it? Uh, Pikachu. Poor Pikachu. Uh, they starved to death. We were not producing enough food, either in the micro musher or looking for food. Maybe we spent too much effort. See, last episode, or last time, I didn't have electrolyzer soon enough. This time, I spent a little bit more effort on that, but that cost me here in a, a starving poke. I just have to decide, do I roll back? to the beginning or oh, here it's in the way well or do i roll back to some point along the way i'll have to think about that but yeah I, i'd like this design it's just maybe it's not quite the time but uh, da, da, da. the only thing is perhaps i could have gone a little bit longer i remember the last playthrough i think a lot of the oxylite was on one side that might have been part of my reason. Maybe I don't need this guy by cycle 10. I need to push that off. The only question is, I had the micro musher running. And I've, I even have lights on. It's just not enough to keep everyone alive. All right, looks like I need to go back and tweak my plan a little bit. So I've rolled back to cycle 6. Some changes I'm making. First of all, a micro musher is going, a second micro musher is going in just to make sure we stay on top of all the food generation. We're bringing in electrolyzer in the pump. We don't have the full area for insulating around that. That's going to be done later, but we will have a simple drop off station with the bottle emptier up there. And for some research, let's see where we are. We were uh, doing meal preparation. We're going to actually pivot away from that and go to the insulated pipes I'm more interested in the insulated pipes than the hydro sensor at this point though I do want to automate this setup actually I think I'll do actually no let's uh, let's put that in and make that change later let's just 
give some of the skills away so we're up to date with that squirtle this was the point that they became the advanced researcher make sure that we've got mush bars forever I'm gonna go into priorities make sure squirtle under cooking Oh no, Squirtle's not the cooker. Who, uh, that was Pikachu. They're an average priority on that. So we'll have someone that can do some backup cooking. And dirt. Looks like we are in need of dirt. I'm going to try out this, uh, giving a skill, blocking dupes in. This is uh, Pikachu. They're going to get the tinkering. Oh, I don't know if they can go around this or not. Let's see here. If I block them from going in. Where is Pikachu? Yeah, they're able to get away just because of the fact I put a ladder down. Oh, well. Still not feeling so great. But we have our dirt anyway. Squirtle waking up, doing some research for us. Actually, just looking at this, we're at the point we don't have a supercomputer. We do have the research for that. So maybe I will uh, just disconnect it power from this guy. Switch this over to a supercomputer, and I'll power this up. Squirtle's taking care of that. Get a supercomputer in here. Charmander's up in the kitchen. Let's give them some light access. Charmander, let's give you your grilling skill so you can cook all the faster. Okay, we have our laboratory. So let's plug in basic research. And we are ready now for the next poke. We do not so want someone who has uh, interest in digging, but it's not good at it. I was planning on getting a poke that was more focused on digging, but I'm going to get another cook. This is a plus nine, me 45% increase in cooking speed, but they're also germ resistant, iron gut, green uh, thumb, so I couldn't resist. Look, a tongue's going to join us. I'll take a minute now. Set them up in a schedule. Like a tongue right here. Go to priorities. Pikachu, I guess. We don't need you to focus on cooking. Like a tongue, you are definitely going to be focusing on that. Try to up our calories for the time being. Let's make sure we get one of these guys available. We'll lick a tongue by the time they go to sleep. Lick a tongue already at the micro musher. So I'm hoping this investment and in having uh, two of these guys cook is going to help out. Kind of nice that I didn't have to have my first uh, first three three pokes based uh, to have two of them on cooking, so we delayed that a little bit. You can see power is going to be an issue though. We're going to get at the end of cycle six here. an extra outhouse soon, no doubt. Yeah. 
Bulbasaur making some power. Look at Tongue going from micro musher to micro musher. We've got two of pokes making food at the same time. It's just not working out power wise. I'll try to up the priority, make sure things keep going. Keep the lights on in here. And the only thing is, I want to decide who is actually in this area. We don't want someone that can cook to be generating power. Three thousand calories. We are low. Command in to start digging some of these objects out. Get access to a little bit of igneous rock so we can make some insulated pipes once research is complete. Because so I'm not making regular pipes this time, we're definitely going to have a full insulated pipeline to visit this electrolyzer. Might need more metal. Charmander generating some food while Bulbasaur generates power. Squirtle does the research. Research is halfway. I don't know if that was on the advanced research or not. Let's see. Oh, it must have been because they were at the supercomputer. Okay, so yeah, we're getting close to have our insulated pipes. Just want to make sure we've got enough igneous rock by the time that's ready. No, no one can actually cut through that. Oh, that's right. So we don't have Geodude just yet. Okay, I'll have to be careful about this. Ah, forgot the warm sweater. Send that out to Charmander. I'm going down. Put that on. Let's see if we can survive 8,000 calories. All right, so this is decent. This is this may this investment may have paid off. Though power is definitely an issue. We've got 8,000 calories, so we're going to see about maybe cutting back the amount we're cooking at the moment. I want to really get out to uh, get that igneous rock. We've got research complete. Also digging out down there, making that a priority. Cause I really, oh, just want to make sure that this guy can actually get back though, Pikachu. Maybe hold off on digging that one out just yet. But yeah, I don't want to have to have uh, these guys pick up material that's sitting inside here in the future. First pieces of igneous pipe can be built. We're not going to get very far. The amount of igneous rock that we've got. 10,000 calories. We're looking better food-wise. Get igneous rock, even though I can't dig through granite just yet. Pikachu's giving us a few more pieces. So we can extend this line just a bit more. Okay. That's a bit further. Bulbasaur up here trying to get more igneous rock. If I don't have two of these uh, micro mushers going, having two 
A pokes that can cook is good because when one goes to bed, the other one is able to produce food. 11,000 calories, looking much better this time around food-wise. Just want to make sure we stay good with oxygen. At the moment, we're okay. But uh, we want to get that electrolyzer on. So that is definitely going to be the focus. Squirtle's putting in another cot. Because we're going to have another poke and half a cycle. Point. Two cycles until the next poke is here. I'm pretty sure that's going to be someone dedicated towards digging. So we definitely need more igneous rock and the ability to dig through granite. There is more construction that's needed as well. Now we've got Geodude interested in be, uh, building, digging, farming few positive traits. Let's give them a schedule. Put them in with Lickitung. Their priority is, of course, going to be on digging. And we'll give them their skill to dig through granite. And Lickitung. What, uh... Oh yeah, you are grilling. So now we've got two master grillers. 15,000 calories. Let's see, we've got more igneous rock. Oh, that's right, we can dig through granite, so a few places we could grab that. See if we can get any further with this insulated pipe. Okay. So we just need the pipe plus this uh, wooden tile. And then we'll have electrolyzer running. So food is certainly not a problem. I did think to myself, having two of these might actually be useful even if I only had one of these guys cooking. Because the other uh, dupes, they could throw some food in. By the time the uh, cook is done in here, they could whip over here. I think I've seen that where they went back and forth. 15,000 calories makes me wonder if I actually need it. Some, a second, second one of these guys that were dedicated on cooking. Kind of curious now, actually. I think it would definitely be needed once I get up to, say, uh, a crew of 10. But right now, maybe I shouldn't have had Lickitung join us just yet. Then again, I do want someone that could cook while Charmander is sleeping, though. No longer have a barracks. I want to fix that quickly. Gonna put a pause on the micro musher. Let's verify we've got both the barracks and latrine. Let's see if we can get this pipe built. Squirtle not feeling the best, but they're putting wooden tiles around this pump. Take out a spot for a little bit more igneous rock. Both ends of the pipe need to be constructed here. Geodo doing some construction since no digging is needed at the moment. Just a few more pieces. Maybe I'll even start dropping in some water soon. I think we're going to have it. 
Let's go back to where researching this meal preparation. Gonna make a plan. Let's get uh, more exploration with up and down. We'll go back to generating some food. Don't want to get too low. All right, let's take this down. There it is on cycle 10. We've got our water being dumped into this uh, setup heading towards the electrolyzer. It has no power. Is that just because we've got too much running, I guess, at the moment? There it is. Electrolyzer is running. So now that that is there, we're going to turn that off. We're going to add in some automation in the future. But I think that's going to be it for now. So I think that is a much better setup than I've done before. We've got Electrolyzer running on at the end of cycle 10. Food, clearly not a problem. Maybe I didn't even need a second uh, poke to actually specialize in cooking, but I don't think it's going to hurt. And it, it, it's safe. You want to concentrate on nothing else in this game. Oxygen and food. So we've got that. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the advice. At this point, I'm not worried about spoilers, so if you've got any advice whatsoever on how to improve things even further, or ideas where to go from there, I definitely very much uh, like you to uh, see those. So hopefully I will integrate some of your more thoughts towards uh, a future base. And specifically, I want to see if we can automate set up around here so we don't I don't have to actually manually click and add water every so often all right until next time